the Magneto holster from We Defend USA. Have one right here. I'm gonna break this thing down, give you the pros and cons, and let you know what I think. Now, right off the bat, this is an inside the waistband holster. It uses a magnetic retention system to say put on your pants. So there's a magnetic uh, magnet right here in this flap and a magnet in the body of the holster. When those things clip together, it stays put in place on your pants. So um, not a new uh, way of doing things. I did an, a review a long time ago on this Jam4 Tactical Quick Click and Carry, which I love, um, which also uses uh, a magnetic retention system. It was initially a, a benefit for people that were wearing article pants that didn't uh, use a belt, okay? So your athletic sweatpants, yoga pants, spandex type pants, those types of things where you couldn't use a standard holster with a clip. Um, and, and so this kind of filled that void. Um, so it's a really good good concept, this magnetic concept. Um, where the Jam4 Tactical holster is made out of leather, this is a little bit different. This is a textile fabric. Um, so it's very supple. As you can see right here, I can bend this I can almost get into a ball. It's so thin, okay? And that might be a pro and a con. Um, it definitely does not add any bulk to your gun. And so if you're very concerned about any sort of printing or, or bulk whatsoever, um, this might you know appeal to you. There is a, a con side of that thin um, material is that it doesn't have any form or structure. So as you can see, I, I have my Glock 43 here, um, it's clear. When I put the gun in the holster, it allows a little bit too much softness around the trigger here. Now I'm not able to, um, you know, squeeze the trigger through this holster, but it is pretty thin. And um, I know that's a concern for a lot of uh, gun owners and, you know, uh, frankly, myself as well, I like to have a little bit more structure over this area. Um, another thing about the soft material of it is that it the, the gun just doesn't seem to, to fit exactly where you want it, right? It sits really low. As you can see here, it sits really low. So getting that good shooter's grip is difficult because the gun drops down. As far as adjusting this ride height, the way that uh, the Magneto holster works is that it comes with this tubing, okay? Now, in order to raise the gun out of the holster and get a little bit better grip, you take this tubing that they send you um, and you insert it in the bottom of the holster. Now, as you can see now, the gun sits up higher and I can get that good shooter's grip. The tubing idea, it concept, it works, it's probably not ideal. I would rather see the, the holster just, just make a smaller holster for the 43 or those size firearms. That the inside material is pretty rough, okay? It's not, it's not like sandpaper, but it is rough. And if you're carrying your firearm in here for you know a long time, it could do a number to your finish on your gun. If you look at this lip right here, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's single stitch right here. And the sights will definitely catch on that as you as you draw the firearm out, okay? Um, it's not gonna keep your gun from coming out of the holster, but what it is going to do is probably prematurely wear this, this little lip out and cause this to start fraying. One of the things I did like about the Magneto holster is that they will, um, personalize it with a logo. So you can see right here, they put the concealed carry logo right there. They also uh, sent me one with my personal training company logo. So really cool, you can personalize it. And the magnets used are strong enough to keep the uh, holster in place on your uh, on your pants. So that's not an issue of, of the holster coming off with the draw. It does provide a little bit of uh, retention in the gun itself. So, you know, I could probably shake this out, but um, the magnet is pretty strong and it keeps the gun in there. A couple fit and finish things that I notice 
Um, one thing I noticed right here, you can see where it looks like another logo was, was being printed on another piece of leather. Um, not a big deal, but if you're spending money on a holster, I'm sure you're gonna notice that and probably not want that on your holster. Um, and, and right here where the, the holster kind of comes together, it leaves a little bit of the exposed trigger there. I would like to, to see a little bit more coverage right here. So my overall opinion of the holster is that it's it's a good concept. It just needs a little tweaks here and there um, to make it something that I would be comfortable carrying with. It, it definitely could be used in specific situations, mainly those yoga pants or spandex pants type situations where you really don't want to add any bulk whatsoever because you have such tight pants because this thing really, really the, the material is so thin. Um, and like I said, it's a pro and a con, you know, it does keep it very minimalistic, but uh, it exposes a little too much of the trigger for my liking. But I know that there are people out there that carry with that clip draw system that's just a clip right there. So, you know, um, to each his own, as far as that's concerned, um, I think that the ride height issue by using this, this tubing needs to be improved upon and, and maybe a couple different sizes. Uh, more sizes to to get uh, better fit, right? Uh, a better fit, so you can get that good high shooter's grip and that interior material. Possibly, you know, wearing uh, the finish on your gun a little bit, you know, that might be a concern to you as well. So I contacted Mike from We Defend USA, and we talked about this holster quite a bit. Uh, he wanted my feedback as far as different uh, things that he could do to improve upon it. And I sent those over to him and he was really receptive and, and you know, and, and took those into consideration. So maybe he'll be coming out with uh, a, a new design, maybe a Magneto 2.0 or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, check out their, their webpage. It's We Defend USA and this is their Magneto holster.